Bolivian officials say deposits of confiscated coca have reached the maximum capacity of 3 million pounds. The government is unsure about uh, how to dispose of the extra coca as it is considered sacred to the indigenous people. Our correspondent Dimitri O'Donnell reports. Bolivia's anti-drugs authorities have so far destroyed more than 9,000 hectares of illegal coca crops this year. The coca-producing area of Chipare in Cochabamba was targeted, as well as the province of Beni in the north and the city of Santa Cruz. The government aims to destroy more than 11,000 hectares of illicit coca crops by the end of the year. They accepted the eradication policy, but don't want to be forced. The people want to be consulted before they have to deal with the eradication of the coca. Every day, coca farmers come from all over the country to sell their produce at markets like this one. Bolivia allows around 12,000 hectares to be cultivated for coca plantation, mainly for medicinal, religious and nutritional purposes. Producers bitterly oppose any plans to scale back on production. Bolivia's parliament recently discussed a new bill that could raise the limit by up to 20,000 hectares to legally grow the crop. A recent UN report said more than 20,000 hectares were used for coca plantation in 2014, but that the amount of illegal crops was reducing. Between 2010 and 2014, the country has reduced the area under coca cultivation by 2,600 hectares, which is equivalent to more than one-third the area under coca cultivation in 2010. Bolivia's overflowing stores of seized coca are causing problems for the government. Storage space is costly and the other option to burn the confiscated leaves is opposed by farmers who say that the plant is sacred. But with production of the leaf at its lowest in over a decade, the government says it is winning the war on illegal cultivation. Dimitri O'Donnell, Telesur, La Paz.